Hi there, I'm Jeff Omar from Campbell Soup Company. We're super excited to be supporting the FMI Foundation's Soccer Bowl competition, a nationwide contest showcasing the best family meal. At Campbell, we recognize the importance of family meals and feel like this contest was made for us. As a company, we strive to share that feeling of comfort and togetherness our products bring to homes across North America, even when we have to be apart. The rules of the contest are pretty simple. Create a family meal which must cost less than $50, be a family of four and be able to be prepared in less than 30 minutes. Once you watch this video, be sure to vote for Campbell's by November 11th using the link below. We are going to begin by making our croutons. I have my oven preheating to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and here I have four slices of Pepperidge Farm garlic tetas toast which I'm going to cut into about half an inch cubes. I will be putting this in a single layer on a parchment lined cheek pan and this will be going into my preheated oven for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they are golden brown and crispy. While the croutons are toasting in the oven, we're going to get started with the spaghetti carbonara. I'm preheating my instant pot using the saute setting. I'm going to begin by adding my shallots into my preheated instant pot. And stirring often, I'm gonna cook them for about a minute or so until they become translucent. And as you can see, I still have some of that residual fat from when I cooked my pancetta earlier. And that's not only gonna give us great flavor, it's also going to prevent the shouts from sticking. It's time to add the broth. Our can of condensed soup. Our spaghetti, broken in half. Our pecorino romano cheese and half of the pancetta from earlier. And I'm going to save the rest for later. Next, I'm going to lock the lid and seal the pressure release valve. And we're gonna set the timer on pressure cook for 10 minutes. Our croutons are toasting in the oven and our spaghetti carbonara is cooking in the instant pot. Now let's make dessert. For the Milano tiramisu, I will be using one bag of Pepperidge Farm dark chocolate Milano cookies, half a cup of espresso or very strong coffee, one cup of mascarpone cheese at room temperature, one cup of heavy cream, which I've whipped to a medium to soft peak, half a cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla paste, one teaspoon of unsweetened cocoa powder, and two tablespoons of either rum or cognac. And this is completely optional, so feel free to leave it out if you're serving kids. In our large bowl, I'm gonna mix together the mascarpone cheese, my granulated sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla paste. And you wanna whisk this until the mixture is very smooth and homogenous. And it shouldn't take too long since our cheese is at room temperature. We're gonna add our whipped cream. And once again, we're gonna whisk, but this time only whisk until it just combined. And I'm going to set this aside. It's now time to assemble the tiramisu. I'm going to add my dark rum to my espresso. Mixed up pretty well. And now I'm going to soak my Milano cookies in the espresso mixture. And you wanna let them soak for about five seconds. Once they're soaked, you want to make a single layer in the bottom of a loaf pan, like so. I'm gonna take my mascarpone cheese mixture and add about a third on top. And using the back of a spoon, I'm gonna smooth it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna tap it on the counter once and that's gonna help release some of the air bubbles. And I'm gonna repeat until I'm all finished with my Milano cookies and my mascarpone cheese mixture. You should have three layers of each. And lastly, we're gonna finish off the tiramisu by sprinkling with unsweetened cocoa powder. And I like using a small sifter for this. And that is it. I'm gonna let this rest in the fridge until dessert time. The 10-minute timer just went up in my instant pot. Now I'm going to press cancel and use a quick release method to release the pressure. 
Once the pressure in the instant pot has subsided, it is very important we let the spaghetti sit for about 5 minutes. This will allow the sauce to thicken and fully absorb into the spaghetti. In the meantime, let's make the salad. I'm going to start off by making my vinaigrette. I'm going to add my extra virgin olive oil into this mason jar, along with my champagne vinegar, my Dijon mustard, a good pinch of salt, and some black pepper. I'm going to tightly close the lid and vigorously shake for about 10 seconds until the vinaigrette is fully emulsified. This is a great way to make a vinaigrette because there's no cleanup and you can save it right in the jar if you don't use all of it. For my salad, I will be using about five cups of minced greens. Peppers from Texas Toast Croutons, which just came out of the oven about 10 minutes ago. Half of a small red onion, thinly sliced. Half cup of emerald dry roasted almonds, very roughly chopped. A third of a cup of pepperoncini peppers, sliced. And one cup of cherry tomatoes, cut in half. This is a very simple and delicious salad. It's been about five minutes, and now that our salad is done, it's time to add a green piece to the spaghetti carbonara. And as you can see, that five minute rest time really helped that sauce cling onto the pasta. And to finish this off, we're gonna top it with some of the pancetta that we, we served earlier today. and a little bit more of the Pecorino Romano cheese. There's so many things to love about this recipe. It's easy, it's creamy, it's indulgent, and best of all, everything, even the pasta cooks right in the Instant Pot. Be sure to check out this recipe on our Campbell Kitchen website, and don't forget to vote for Campbell's by November 11th using the link below.